Welcome back. You've just come back from shooting and now it's time to clean your gun. So I'm just going to go through very briefly how I clean my gun and how I keep it in tip top condition. So we st I start off with the barrels and I take off the fore end and then with the fore end I get a microfiber cloth and I wipe the inside and then I wipe all the metal bits at the front take off all the grease that's on there and the fore end is clean and ready to be greased when I'm ready to shoot next time with the barrels I get I give them a spray of gun cleaner and I give them a couple of sprays in each barrel and then I use these pads that women use to take off their makeup and I do that three times to each barrel and so Having sprayed the barrels, I let that sit in there for a minute. And before I do anything else, I give the monoblock a spray. And I give it a spray. And I spray the ejectors on both sides. And you can see that I've sprayed it there. I've sprayed the monoblock and I've sprayed all the ejectors. And then the ejectors... It's, it's important to clean the ejectors. So what I do is I brush them about 30 times and I give them a good brush because gunk collects in there. So I give the ejectors a good brush. I give the other side of the ejectors a good brush because there's a few moving parts there and in the grooves the gunk can accumulate. So I'll give it a good brush where the ejectors are. Okay, then I brush the monoblock. I brush the other side of the monoblock. And then with the rag, I wipe it all off. And so that's taken off all the grease. And you can see that it's pretty clean. Having The barrels have been sprayed, so then I get the, the pads that women use to remove their makeup and I put one in each barrel and then with this microfiber rod I push it down there and twist as I go and the other one I push it down the barrel and I twist as I go and you can see how dirty it comes out. The first one that I pushed in the in the barrel, the cloth actually actually broke, and that does sometimes happen. And then I give it another quick little spray in the barrels. I do the same thing with the with the pad, one and two. Push it through, and it'll still take out a fair bit of rubbish and there it is it's still pretty black and then I take it out and I do the same to the other barrel and there it is and that's that's all the gunk that you take out then I do that another two to another once more but I, I won't do it for the sake of speed then I spray the end of this microfiber cloth up here then I pull it back up a bit and I spray it about there and I give it a spray and then I work the rod backwards and forwards into the barrels and then I do the bottom barrel
And once I've done that, you can see all the rubbish that's accumulated on the microfiber cloth. And then once I've done that, I get this microfiber cloth that I've just washed. And it's just a microfiber cloth stitched into a long sausage. And then I put the end down the barrel, down the bottom barrel, feed the string through. And then I pull it through. And I pull it through once. And it's got to be fairly tight, but not too tight. And then I feed it through the top barrel. And feed it through. And then push it through the top barrel. Okay, now the barrels should be squeaky clean. Those barrels should be squeaky clean. And so I then give the cloth a bit of a spray and then I wipe down the barrels. Wipe down the barrels. Then I put the foreland back on, hold it by the wood to get rid of any fingerprints, and the barrel and the foreend are clean. With the receiver, I just spray it at this angle so it doesn't go into the firing pins. So I spray it in there, give it a spray, and then with the toothbrush, I brush all the inside where those rods are, those cocking rods are, all inside the receiver. I scrub the back of the receiver and the locking lugs, and the locking lugs. Give it a good brush. The knuckle. And then with the microfiber cloth, I wipe it all out, dry it. And then I wipe the, the whole outside of the receiver. And there it is. It's all nice and clean. And I wipe any residual spray off the gun. And then it goes back in the case. And the cleaning is done. And so I never all, I never grease my gun before going to shoot. When I get to the shooting range, then I open up the case, grease it up, and I'm ready to shoot. So that's how quick you can clean your gun. So the next video I'll do, I'll do on lubricating and oiling your gun, but that's just a quick video on how I clean my gun. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.